I moved to New York City, and I lived with Sean Puffy Combs for a year. That's the crazy thing. Now, that yeah. was L.A. Reid's idea, right? We're sending New you over York to City. something. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight <laughs> over, the, over the Frosted Flakes. Hold on to your seats, folks, because Tinseltown is buzzing with the juiciest scandal of the year. The headlines may scream Kevin Hart versus Tasha Kay, but What We've Unearthed goes far beyond a mere celebrity spat. In a jaw-dropping revelation, we've got the inside scoop on a secret love triangle involving Hart, the legendary Diddy, and the r and sensation Usher. It all started when Tasha Kay's explosive interview with Kevin Hart's alleged former assistant, Misha, turned into a bombshell expose. Forget mistresses. We're diving into a world of Hollywood excess, where Hart's infidelity takes a backseat to the shocking connections he allegedly shares with Diddy and Usher. It is a time for Hollywood to hear this story, especially because a lot of people are locked in non-disclosures and they're not able to talk and protect themselves. Misha pulled no punches, exposing Hart's serial cheating and even unveiling an Instagram model who spilled the beans to Hart's wife. But here's the kicker. It's not just about mistresses and secret affairs. The interview hinted at a steamy affair between Kevin Hart and Diddy that transcends mere professional camaraderie, wild parties, confessions, and a sordid relationship that has tongues wagging. And if you thought that was enough, brace yourselves for the grand finale. In a shocking twist, it seems that Usher is entangled in this web of scandal, courtesy of a drunken confession by Diddy himself. Yes, you heard it right. Usher is part of this Hollywood love affair, and the details are as indecent as they come. You know, what like a, a life. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. 14 years old. You're a dad now. Would you ever send your kid to puffy camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> See? So, following Tasha Kay's explosive interview, fans are digging up a treasure trove of videos from Kevin Hart's legendary parties for Diddy. If you thought the rumors were outrageous, buckle up because the footage is raising eyebrows and fueling suspicions in ways we never expected. These weren't your average shindigs. We're talking about closed, extravagant affairs where forbidden things happened behind closed doors. Sources are claiming that these parties were exclusive, decadent, and brace yourselves for a homosexual audience. That's right. The rumors about Kevin Hart and Diddy's alleged homosexual relationship seem to be gaining traction, and the videos from these soirees are adding fuel to the speculative fire. Do it, you did it. No, 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 I definitely didn't have to do it. I, I definitely didn't have to. Uh, first and foremost, I'm not giving the bet. Uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did. I'm just gonna... Jamie Foxx, who managed to snag an invite to one of these jaw-dropping parties, vividly described the scene. He painted a picture of extreme extravagance, wild occurrences, and an atmosphere that was anything but ordinary. The leaked footage captures moments of revelry, laughter, and intimate exchanges between Kevin Hart and intimate exchanges between Kevin Hart and Diddy, confirming that these weren't your run-of-the-mill Hollywood gatherings. We uh, we um we want to thank you. Come here. Don't don't sit on the bed or not. No homo. No, just just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed. But it's just like yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man. As the scandal surrounding Kevin Hart and Diddy continues to unfold, we've dug deeper into the past of the R Tip sensation Usher and his alleged involvement in the twisted web of Hollywood drama. Brace yourselves for the next chapter because it's a wild ride. Usher, Usher look like he fresh off a goddamn plane. Usher's- <laughs> in one of the videos from Kevin Hart's infamous parties for Diddy, the atmosphere takes an unexpected turn. Picture this. Kevin Hart, the orchestrator of the event, interviews a visibly intoxicated Diddy. In a moment that can only be described as a shocking revelation, Diddy, perhaps not fully aware of the weight of his words, jokingly discloses that he and Usher once shared a bed after a night of revelry. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and... I mean, damn, pause, but like, that's out. But let's rewind a bit and delve into Usher's journey, which seems to be far from the glamorous mentorship depicted in the headlines. When Usher, the fresh-faced teen, signed with Laffus Records, he was handed over to none other than Sean Diddy Combs for mentorship. The narrative was supposed to be one of artistic development and guidance, but insiders suggest a darker side to Usher's time in Diddy's so-called camp. According to sources, Usher spent a year under Diddy's wing, ostensibly learning from the experience of an already successful star. However, the reality painted by Usher's own revelations and insider whispers portrays a different picture. Allegedly, the underage Usher was exposed to a world of excess and debauchery, attending parties that showcased scenes he shouldn't have witnessed at such a tender age. Right? No, nah, not really. I Come mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. Yeah, but you were 13. What were you I seeing? I went there to see the lifestyle. Insiders suggest that Usher wasn't just a passive observer at these gatherings. Rumors abound that he engaged in sexual relations with Diddy during this time. And as if that wasn't enough, speculation swirls that this period also marked the inception of a sexual relationship involving Kevin Hart. If the gossip mill is to be believed, the three of them developed a complex dynamic, with Diddy supposedly taking the lead as the elder statesman, 
I ain't say that. Okay. I, I didn't say that. <laughs> what I did say is that there were very curious things taking place, uh-huh. and I didn't necessarily understand uh. it. As the sizzling scandal surrounding Kevin Hart, Diddy, and Usher continues to captivate Hollywood, new revelations are surfacing that add another layer of complexity to the already tangled web of drama. The latest bombshell comes straight from the mouth of Diddy's former bodyguard, Gene Deal, who is no stranger to spilling the tea on his ex-boss. In a jaw-dropping interview, Gene Deal claims to have witnessed a shocking encounter between Diddy and rapper Jay Rule, suggesting a level of intimacy that goes beyond mere friendship. According to Gene, he accompanied Diddy to an exotic bookstore in the early 2000s, where the mogul allegedly purchased a bag full of intimate accessories. When he was in a room with Sarah and her girlfriend, and he had Ja Rule, and him in the room. The plot thickens as Gene recounts how Diddy took these explicit items to a concert in North Carolina and, without any hesitation, decided to pay a surprise visit to Jay Rule in his private suite. Despite Gene's objections, Diddy pressed on, leading to a lengthy rendezvous between the two artists. Gene Deal's eyebrow raising account of the incident doesn't stop there. When he questioned Jay Rule about the extended meeting, the rapper allegedly cryptically replied, Until Ja came out and said, Yo, Y'all didn't want to be in there because there's a lot of freaky things going on. The insinuation of a possible homosexual encounter between Diddy and Jay Rule leaves Hollywood tongues wagging. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. Gene Deal's interview also sheds light on Diddy's rumored connections to a homosexual hotspot and his supposed frequent visits to Turkish baths, where, according to Gene, a lot of homosexual men meet and they all take hot baths together. As we delve into this new revelation, it's essential to note that Gene Deal's credibility has been a topic of discussion in the past, with some questioning the authenticity of his claims. However, a multitude of insiders and other sources have reportedly corroborated similar stories over the years, adding an intriguing layer to the unfolding narrative. Twice. Sometimes, three times a week, me and the driver be outside. And hold onto your hats, scandal aficionados, because the Kevin Hart saga just took a legal twist that has Tinseltown tongues wagging. In a move that screams desperation and damage control, Hart has reportedly slapped controversial YouTuber Tasha Kay with a lawsuit alleging extortion and invasion of privacy over an interview with his former assistant, Misha Shakes. According to court documents obtained by Rolling Stone, Hart is claiming that Tasha Kay demanded a whopping $250,000 to withhold a defamatory interview with Shakes, who had spilled the beans on Hart's alleged office affair, gambling issues, and the jaw-dropping accusation that he paid someone millions to shoulder duty charges. But here's where it gets interesting. Hart, in his legal volley, chose to sue only for blackmail, not defamation. The lawsuit alleges that an associate of Tasha Kay made a ransom call, seeking the hefty sum in exchange for keeping the interview under wraps. Now, here's the plot twist that has Hollywood scratching its collective head. Why didn't Hart, in his legal maneuvering, also throw a defamation charge into the mix? Is there a strategic reason behind keeping silent on the veracity of Shakes' claims about an office affair, gambling debts, and more? The lawsuit further delves into Shakes' alleged breach of contract and defamation, accusing her of violating a non-disclosure agreement and confidentiality agreement. Hart is seeking $90,000 in compensatory damages and attorney fees for each of these charges, adding fuel to the already fiery scandal. As the legal battle unfolds, it's evident that Hart is playing a high-stakes game to protect his image. But the real question on everyone's lips remains. Why hasn't he outright denied the explosive claims about a sordid affair with Diddy and a Hollywood love triangle involving ushers? Is there more to the scandal than meets the eye, or is Hart strategically avoiding certain aspects of the narrative? Amid the convoluted drama surrounding Kevin Hart, Diddy, and Usher, it appears that Diddy's empire is facing a seismic shakeup as a barrage of assault allegations rocks the music mogul's world. New lawsuit against Sean Diddy Combs bringing some serious claims against the music mogul. The scandal unfolds as a timeline of lawsuits paints a damning picture. Diddy's ex, Kessie, initially thrust the mogul into the spotlight with accusations of trafficking and domestic violence, demanding a staggering $30 million. Astonishingly, they settled within a day, leaving the terms shrouded in secrecy. But the storm was far from over. On November 23, a woman named Joey Dickerson, Neil accused Diddy of intoxicating and assaulting her in 1991. This shocking revelation came with claims of revenge video alleging Diddy recorded the incident and shared it within the music industry. Diddy vehemently denied the allegations, citing them as a money grab and fabrication. The turmoil escalated further with a third assault lawsuit on the same day, this time from a Jane O who accused Diddy and singer, songwriter Aaron Hall of a serious sexual offense more than 30 years ago. 
The spokesperson for Diddy dismissed these allegations as fabricated claims and condemned the exploitation of the Adult Survivors Act. As the legal quagmire deepens, Diddy temporarily stepped aside as chairman of Revolt, the hip-hop TV network he co-founded. The move, labeled as temporary, aims to ensure Revolt remains focused on its mission amidst the swirling controversy. The crescendo of accusations reached its pinnacle on December 6, with a fourth woman, Jane Doe, accusing Diddy, former Bad Boy Entertainment president Herb Pierre, and a third assailant of trafficking and serious assault when she was only 17. She has actual photos in the studio. So placing her there in the studio, one of the photos, she's actually sitting on Diddy's lap Mm -hmm. in the studio. In response to the mounting allegations, Diddy issued a defiant statement declaring enough is enough and vehemently denying all accusations as an assault on his character and legacy. Hollywood is left reeling as Diddy's once mighty empire appears to be crumbling under the weight of these explosive accusations, leaving Tinseltown wondering if this is the end of an era for the hip-hop mogul. Now, we want to hear your take on the intricate connections between these three. Do you believe Usher's time under Diddy's mentorship took an unexpected turn, as suggested by insiders? What are your thoughts on the alleged complex dynamic involving Kevin Hart, Diddy, and Usher? Share your opinions on these shocking claims and join the debate in the comments below. Thanks for being part of the intrigue.